Rainbow Six. Experts in close quarters battle and hostage rescue. Assembled from special forces teams around the world. The counter-terrorism units. We pull the best from the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Only a handful make it through training. We each bring a skill. Combined, we're lethal. It's what we do. We're the regiment. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is a first-person shooter where two teams of five players test their skills against each other. When starting for the first time, you'll want to play missions known as situations. Situations teach you what you'll be doing against other players and reward you by giving you renown. Renown is the game's main currency and is used to buy characters as well as weapon accessories. Once you beat all situations, you can either fight other players in multiplayer or fight bots in the game mode known as Terrorist Hunt. As you continue to earn renown, you can head into the game's store to buy operators or improve weapons. Each operator has a unique ability that they can use in-game, and can actually counter other operators' abilities. Thermite is an operator who can destroy structures that resist normal explosives using an exothermic charge. This is his ability, but if another operator known as Mute places a jammer on that wall, it disables the charge and prevents the structure from being destroyed. This is only one example of many of operators countering each other based on their abilities. Each character also has multiple primary and secondary weapons that can be switched out in the main menu or at the start of the game. Operators are split into two categories which are Assault and Defense. Once you get into an actual multiplayer game, you'll either be assaulting the other team or defending yours against an assault, switching your roles every round. While on the defending team, you set up reinforced walls around the area you're trying to protect, and other pieces of equipment that come with your character. After all your equipment is used, you wait for your enemy to barge in. As an assaulter, you spawn as a placed drone where you look for what the defenders are protecting. It is possible not to find the defenders, and means you'll have to look for them out on foot, risking you and your teammates lives. The mechanics of both defending and assaulting are very unique from how other games approach them. Rainbow Six Siege's graphics are astonishing when set to ultra, but require a lot of computer power to use. The game's audio can be very important, since you can hear your enemy's footsteps and use of equipment when they're nearby. This game provides you with no story at all, unless you count the bios of the operators. Meaning that if you want a story-based shooter, this game isn't a good option. Destructible terrain is one of the game's most prominent features, adding a whole new level of strategy. Nearly anything in-game can be destroyed, making explosives and shotguns a lot more fun to use and more useful than in other games. Walls can also be shot through, allowing you to see through the bullet holes, giving you a hidden advantage. The game has a total of 11 maps, and they are all unique from one another. Each map mostly takes place in large buildings where it's more difficult to rescue hostages or even disarm bombs. Overall, the game is great for multiplayer, but not so much if you want to play solo. Having a headset is very important in the game, as communication and the ability to hear your enemy is key. $60 for the game may seem like much, but if you have friends, it's a great buy.